Hey guys, it's Jackie with Intoxicating Arts. This is the shadow box that I had shown you that I made for my fiance for Christmas and it's up on the wall now. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because this 8x10 picture that I used in here, I've done something else with that and so I wanted to show that to you. Um, this shadow box is 12 by 14 inches but it looks tiny on this big wall that I need to do something with. So anyways, um, I'll show you what I've done with this picture in just a second. Let me just move you over here without making you dizzy. So I'm in the process of basically designing my bathroom. We've been in this house for about a year and a half and we've done basically nothing. Um, and so I pretty much was like, well, I'm going to tackle the downstairs half bathroom first. And so far what we've done is we've painted it this color, which... Um, I don't know what color it is, but if you like it, I can find out for you, maybe. I think I have the can somewhere. And we added some different fixtures, like we changed the light fixture, the um, hardware for the spout, the towel hanger, and the toilet paper holder. So we changed all that to like a brushed nickel and painted it and that's pretty much all we've done in here and then I decided that I wanted to have this bathroom be like a monochrome theme so you know just black and white and then this wall color here so it really does focus on making your eyes see I don't really know how to explain it but I feel like when you are looking at like a black and white picture like this you are able to block out the colors and see it for its natural beauty, if that makes any sense. So I really wanted to do like a monochrome theme in here. It's a really small half bathroom, so it's not like it would be overwhelming. It's having black and white all over the place. It's just one bathroom, and I'm only going to do that in here. So anyways, basically what I did is this is that same exact picture you saw over there, except for now it's on a faux canvas, and it is, I want to say this is 24 by 36 inches, and that's the biggest size that Walmart offers for their faux canvas, and it was $30, and I already had those pictures on Walmart.com, so it was extremely easy to do it. Um, I just, you know, clicked a couple things, paid for it, picked it up about four hours later, and it was good to go. So, um, they do wrap it around, so there's like the wrap around, it goes all the way around there. Um, the only thing is, it's, you know, it is a faux canvas, it has like pretty much no texture to it, and it's mounted on cardboard, so I kind of wish that I knew that it was going to be mounted on cardboard, not wood. It's not the most durable thing ever, but, you know, I'm just, oh, yeah, let me just ruin it. Anyways, um, well, it survived that, so <laughs> it's somewhat dur durable, but anyways, I'm just going to, you know, mount it on the wall right above the toilet right there, and that's where it's going to stay, but I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. Um, this was originally, obviously, a color picture, and they had a thing on their website to make it black and white. You can make it sepia, you can make it blue, red, whatever you want to do, and you can crop it, you know. So, I wanted to show that to you because I thought it was pretty cool, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!